हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द सेकंड पीसी प्रैक्टिकल सेशन ना टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सपेरिमेंट सेमीकंडक्टर डायोड सो फॉर यू इट्स एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर फोर ओके नाउ लेट अस सी द वन बाय वन एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट्स अपारेटस प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट्स एंड नेचर ऑफ द ग्राफ सर्क्यूट डायग्राम प्रोसीजर ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड सर्क्यूट कनेक्शंस एंड हाउ टू डेक्ट ऑन द रीडिंग्स एंड ऑल एंड फाइनली फ्लॉटिंग द ग्राफ्स ओके नाउ लेट अस सी वन बाय वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट द एम इज टू ड्रॉ द करेंट वर्सेस वोल्टेज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स कर ऑफ अ पी एन जंक्शन डायोड इन फॉरवर्ड बायस and hence find cut in voltage so in this experiment we are going to find the cut in voltage in a pn junction diode particularly a semiconductor diode so by plotting the graph of current versus voltage iv i hope you learned iv characteristics of a semiconductor diode forward characteristics as well as reverse characteristics so you are familiar with that so based on that here we have to find the cut in voltage now move on to the next one that is apparatus so what are the apparatus required for this experiments semiconductor diode okay and a milliammeter and an voltmeter rheostat battery usually plug key along with that battery that is needed so these are the apparatus required i hope uh, you are familiar with the, all the apparatus except semiconductor diode milliammeter we know voltmeter we know rheostat we know battery we know only semiconductor later we will see that semiconductor okay next is principle of the experiments so this experiment works based on which principle let us see that one when the diode is forward biased it offers very low resistance it offers very low resistance so a diode semiconductor diode is under forward bias at that situation this diode offers a very low resistance obviously reverse in the case of reverse bias for a reverse bias a very high resistance will offers so very high resistance will offers means there is no flow of current here the diode under forward bias it offers a very low resistance that means a uh, current is passing through this diode after one certain voltage okay next the cut in voltage is the characteristic voltage at which diode current increases exponentially even for a small increase in bias voltage when diode is under forward bias so you can easily saw the curve the nature of the graph is here initially by large variation in the voltage there is a small variation in the current but after one particular voltage that voltage is we will call it as an cut in voltage so at after this particular voltage the sudden increase in the current by a small variation in the voltages or by small change in voltage we'll get a large change in current so that's why the curve looks like an exponentially increasing curve exponentially increasing curve the nature of the graph is exponentially increasing curve so this is the principle of the experiments okay now uh, the nature of the graph instead of formula here you have to draw the nature of the graph in this experiment there is no formula so the two mark for a principle means the next two mark for the graph nature of the graph okay so instead of formula the two mark will given for the nature of the graph so you have to plot the nature of the graph this graph you have to plot clear next let us see the circuit diagram how to do the connections 
so battery is there so i hope you already now this is the circuit symbol of a semiconductor diode circuit symbol of a semiconductor diode the line this side it will indicate cn and here it will be p so pn junction in this in this side p here it will be n okay now the battery positive uh, to start from battery positive or uh, to complete one loop one by one so battery positive to rheostat one lower end a rheostat another lower end to plug key and plug key to the battery negative so that completes one loop so in this experiments the both the lower ends we are using the on um, in the rheostat okay now the one loop is completed next from same battery positive to the milliampere positive same battery positive is connected to the milliampere positive and milliampere negative to the pn junction diode p side means positive p side next from the n side to the rheostat upper end from n side to rheostat upper end so that will complete the second loop second loop okay battery positive to the milliampere positive milliampere negative to the p side of the pn junction diode or a semiconductor diode from n side to rheostat upper end and next the last one will be the voltmeter that we already know we have to find the voltage across the pn junction diode means or to connect the voltmeter now parallel connections so the voltmeter positive is connected to the p side of the semiconductor diode negative is connected to the n side of the semiconductor diode so this is the another loop so it's completes the circuit connections so as per the circuit diagram we have to place the apparatus and we have to do the connection okay so b a indicates battery k indicates key r h indicates rheostat v indicates voltmeter m a indicates milliampere d indicates semiconductor diode so for a final examination you have to draw the circuit diagram along with you have to explain the terms what it indicates indication of the diagram okay next we'll move on to the procedure so how to do the experiments later we'll see the connections and uh, take down the readings okay now here the procedure is the connections are made as shown in the circuit diagram so we have to do the connections as per the circuit diagram as per the circuit diagram we have to do the connection next point using the rheostat the voltage is adjusted for a suitable value v so by using the rheostat the voltage is adjusted for a suitable value v the voltage v and the corresponding current i r not now so by using the rheostat we have to fix the voltage suitable voltage you have to take and later you have to note down the voltage and current for a given voltage you have to note down the current okay so here the rheostat will act as a voltage divider rheostat will act as a voltage divider because we are connecting uh, all three terminals of the rheostat so the rheostat will act as a voltage divider that's why by using the rheostat we have to fix the value of v right next the voltage is increased in a small steps we have to increase the voltage in a small steps the value of v and i are noted in each case and readings are tabulated so we have to increase the voltage by a small steps and we have to note down the value of v and i and we have to enter that values in a tabulations in this tabular column we have to enter next a graph is plotted between v and i so for a given value we have to plot the graph v versus i taking the voltage v along x axis and current i along y axis v along x axis i along y axis okay and 
based on our readings we have to plot the graph take on the points and we have to join all the points and later we have to found the cut in voltage from this we have to cut take a cut in voltage so this will be the procedure of the experiments and we have to note down the result the result is cut in voltage of the given diode so from by plotting the graph the value of cut in voltage we have to enter here okay so this is the procedure of the experiment now let us move on to the connection how to do the connections as per the circuit diagram here i made the connections so we are familiar with the battery plug key rheostat milliammeter voltmeter and here i do the diodes okay now the connections are like this from battery positive to so the as per the circuit diagram from the battery positive to rheostat one lower end we have to connect the wire from a battery positive to rheostat one lower end and rheostat another lower end to another lower end to plug key another lower end to plug key and plug key to the battery negative and plug key to the battery negative so that will completes a first loop okay just recall that completes the first loop next from the same battery positive to milliammeter positive milliammeter positive and milliammeter negative to diode p side here i mentioned the p and n so diode p side later i'll tell uh, in a diodes which side is taken as a p side and which side is taken as a n side okay so from the milliammeter negative to diode p sides and diode n side to a rheostat upper end diode n side to a rheostat upper end so that will complete the second loop next the voltmeter how to connect the voltmeter the parallel to the pn junction diode so the voltmeter positive is connected to the p side of the semiconductor diode voltmeter negative is connected to the n side of the semiconductor diode so this is the circuit connections next let us see how to take down the readings and all first of all we have to switch on the battery and make sure that we have to fix the voltage in the battery in this experiments 2 volts are enough so we have to fix the voltage as 2 volt okay and next we have to close the key and according to the procedure we have to vary the rheostat and adjust a suitable voltage okay i hope you know the range of the milliammeter and voltmeter apparatus right the range means 0 to 500 here 0 to 3 is the range and least count least measurement so one division indicates how much values that we have to check here 0 is there next reading is 100 so 0 and 100 is there in between how many divisions are there let us we have to count so total 10 divisions are there 100 divided by 10 if it is 100 divided by 10 means 10 so each division gives a 10 milli ampere okay if it is in a first line means 10 milli ampere second line 20 milli ampere like that okay similarly for a voltmeter also zero is there next it is 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 2.5 3 like that so zero the next value is 0 0.5 in between 0 and 0 0.5 there are 10 divisions so 0 0.5 divided by 10 0 0.05 so the least count of this voltmeter is 0 0.05 means each divisions gives the value of 0 0.5 zero five okay now let us fix the voltage as zero point zero five okay for a zero point zero five we have to see the ammeter reading that is also zero and uh, let us check for a 
zero point one. For that also, it is zero. So that is the characteristics of a semiconductor diode. According to the characteristics of a semiconductor diode, till one particular voltage, till one particular voltage, the current becomes very small or nearly equals to zero. After one voltage, there will be a small increase in the current. That is in the exponential way. Okay. So let us check till one particular voltage. You just observe the voltmeter. Reading is changing means increases, but there is no deflection in the ammeter or there is no change in that ammeter till one particular voltage. So till zero point five also no change in an ammeter reading. Next zero point five five also zero point six also the same. Next now you can observe clearly. The for a zero point six, for a zero point six, here there is a some variation, and also once again I'll increase the potential means I move the rheostat in a same direction. Now it is zero point six five. At zero point six five, once again there is a increase in the ammeter. So later on, if you observe this, you'll get a for a value of voltmeter zero point six five. The current is we are getting that is a forty milli ampere. So this is the reading. So let us see the cut-in voltage. The cut-in voltage, obviously, we got the cut-in voltage. So by increasing the rheostat or by varying the rheostat also, we'll get a voltmeter reading 0.65 itself. It will stop at 0.65. That means the cut-in voltage is in between 0.6 to 0.65. Okay. Now we have to enter the readings and. Uh, We have to plot the graph, and based on that, note down the result. Here, uh, I took the readings. So, this is the voltmeter reading, and corresponding current reading is the next. We have to plot the graph as per the readings. We have to plot the graph along x-axis. The voltage we have to take down along y-axis. Current I is take down, and uh, Here is the scale I took. X-axis one centimeter is taken as 0.1 volt. Y-axis one centimeter equals to 10 milliampere. So 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, so on. Like I say, now y-axis 10 milliampere, 20 milliampere, 30 milliampere, so on. So for uh, our readings, we have to take down the points. So 0.1 current is zero, 0.2 also zero, 0.3 also zero, 0.4 also zero, 0.5 also zero. In this till 0.5, the current reading is zero. For 0.6, 10, 0.65, 20, 0.7, 80. So here for a 0.6, it's a 10. 0.65, it's 20. 0.7, it's 80. 0.75 it will crossed <laughs> till here 150 comes so just leave that points okay later you have to join all these points so you'll get a curve like this so later after uh, drawing the curve we have to note down the cut in voltage so here cut in voltage is 0.5 Six five because after this voltage the sudden increase in the current is takes place so that's why cut-in voltage is zero point six five later you have to enter that value in a result cut-in voltage of the given diode is zero point six five volts so this is the semiconductor diode experiments next you people have to write this experiment in your practical record okay.